Okay, everybody. Uh, what came into our shop today is the Robotic Arm Edge Wired Control Robotic Arm Kit. Uh, this is a do it yourself or build it yourself kit. And in the box, we have all the parts <laughs> all the gears and screws, connector for the arm. We have the PC board, both of them in there, one for the handheld controller and the one that goes on the robot itself. Some wires, lots of connecting to do, and all the 3D printed parts, pop them out, put them together. Not too many parts actually. That is the remote. And that is the base and joints. And a pretty good manual. Lists all the parts, of course. Step by step build. Uh, pretty in depth. Even though there's not a lot of parts, there's a lot of little parts that go into it. Uh, I've heard people say it can take between an hour to three to build this thing. Uh, I've put stuff like this together before, so uh, I should be able to pop it all out and get it together in an hour. Uh, won't bore you with how to put it together. Uh, there's plenty of instructions there. So I will be back once it's all put together and we'll, we'll test this bad boy out and see how it goes. Okay guys, well we got it together. Uh, before we begin with a movement here, a uh, few talking points. Uh, the movement on this arm includes a radial wrist motion of 120 degrees, an extensive elbow range of motion of 300 degrees, the base rotation of 270 degrees, and base motion of 180 degrees. Uh, it was fairly quick and easy to put together. Uh, granted, I didn't do all the, the fine sanding and cutting from where uh, it was clipped out of its mold. Uh, one important point, you're going to need small screwdrivers, and I do not recommend these. Uh, I got blisters. I would recommend something a little fatter so you can get a little bit more torque on it. Uh, you can get yourself a set of these at Walmart fairly cheap. Uh, it didn't require any soldering. Uh, the vertical reach uh, is 15 inches. Horizontal reach is 12.6 inches. Its lifting capacity is only 100 grams, so you're not going to pick up much with it. Uh, I was actually quite surprised it's a lot smaller than I thought it was. Uh, it does have an audible safety gear indicator on all five gear boxes of the joints. Uh, if you hear the clicking, it's best to back off, go the other direction, or you could strip the gears out. Uh, it's built on a five system, five switch wired controllers, five motors, and five joints. Uh, whenever you're building it, you definitely want to check each joint that all the gears spin freely. Uh, it would be a good idea to, to test the actual motors before you assemble them too. Uh, one big problem I had, <laughs> my eyesight's not that great and some of these screws look exactly the same. Uh, between machine screws and uh, self-tapping screws, I might want to grab a magnifying glass to check them out if your eyes aren't quite up to par. <laughs> uh, it doesn't have a grip rotation, uh, that's, a, that's something I wish it would have had, and no AC adapter, it can only run off batteries out of the box. Uh, and the batteries, I would go get yourself uh, the D batteries uh, right from the beginning, because as soon as you, <laughs> you'll put this together a lot quicker than you think you will. Uh, it took me about an hour while I was watching TV. Uh, anywhere between 45 minutes to a few hours max. Uh, no real components to it, it's just motors and switches. Uh, the analog remote control is very simple. 
Uh, no batteries required. All it is is literally just bent metal that when you push down makes contact either way. It goes to the board and uh, turns the motor. And I'm going to just zoom in on the board here. And essentially all it is is just a hookup board and that is it. It's just transferring the power uh, to the motors. Simple H bridge. And I left the cover off. Uh, there is the yellow cover on the bottom here. It goes on top. Uh, because after this I am going to put in the, the USB version and show you how that works. But let's go ahead and do some of the testing here. Like I said, the remote, very simple. This will rotate your base. And it is a loud little piece. <laughs> uh, it has a light, a little LED light. Oh, see, you heard the audible click there. I had my gripper all the way closed and try to close it more. But you can open, close. Change the joints. I must say <laughs> it is pretty pretty cool uh, but yeah very simple uh, because it is such a simple interface uh, that little board uh, like I said it's just a simple little H bridge uh, and the USB one's no different which we'll be plugging that in here and showing it to you in just a moment uh, Arduino control is uh, is what I was really interested in when we we wanted to get this product in and have a look at it. Uh, and the Arduino I can already see is going to be so easy to hook up to it and control it. Uh, you can pick these little kits up for about $39 on Amazon. That's where this one came from. So did the USB. I, I wouldn't recommend the USB kit. Uh, if you see it and like it, hey, it's fun. You can do a few little things with it. Uh, but for what it would cost, probably just better off buying an Arduino, especially if you're running a Mac uh, Linux machine. But sit tight, and I'll go ahead and hook up the USB, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got it hooked up here. And as you can see, this is the software. It's a Flash app. Uh, and the USB board is installed. Uh, and for comparison, uh, there is the original. Now, uh, what's nice about this is it does have an on-off switch. Uh, basically, the same function. It's just uh, connected up to USB. And I didn't get to mention before, and I will now, this does take 4D batteries. Uh, might want to pick up eight of them, especially if you don't have the USB board because uh, there there could be a little power trickle constantly because there is no actual off button uh, but I'll show you how this the basic <coughs> method works here now you can use your keyboard or I have it set up for mouse and we'll pull back here a little bit close and the actual app shows you which joint uh, it's going to move so that's kind of cool uh, like I said it is in flash uh, this 
to be the base. Light. And then there is an advanced mode. Which the advanced mode will allow you to program it. And basically what you do, uh, I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with uh, the Robo Sapien by Wowie. Uh, you kind of posed it, it remembered the position it was in, and then whenever you put replayed the program, that's what it did. This is the same exact thing. Uh, you just go through what you want it to do, and it, it records it, and puts it into a little script. And when you hit play, it does play back. It has no positional awareness whatsoever, so you could really uh, mess it up. Uh, if you turn it too far and the program runs, it could strip gears. Uh, positional feedback, that's why the, the Arduino would be <laughs> the ideal board to have on this, which we will be making a tutorial uh, soon to get the Arduino hooked up to this. Uh, but you can make a, a simple app, to, a simple script here to uh, pick stuff up in a line, put it somewhere, uh, just simple stuff like that. Uh, now what I, I do have to let everybody be aware of, this this software right now is running on uh, a MacBook Pro with Windows 7, a virtual machine, uh, running through Parallels. Uh, if you attempt to install this under Windows 8, it's not going to let you do it. <clears throat> Uh, please refer to our tutorial on how to install unsigned driver software uh, in Windows 8. You will need to do that. Uh, this software has no driver signage, and with Windows 8, they have driver signage enforcement uh, turned on all the time. <laughs> so check out that tutorial. I'll put a link in the bottom uh, in case you are running Windows 8 8.1. Uh, you will need to do that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this little uh, Owie robotic arm edge. And the next time you see it, we will have an Arduino hooked up to it and show you exactly how to, to do that for yourself. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.